Beep my beep. If you like the uh, new shirt, new shirt's only about eight years old. It's getting rather warm in Melbourne, which means it's going to be gin drinking weather. And what's better gin drinking weather in Melbourne than you drink a local gin? H&M, no less. Hill Martin gin, um, the orange squeeze. Beep beep my orange on the label. So, you hear the sound of happiness. So, yes, this, the, uh, this is the third. I got a um, sample pack. <clears throat> Remember, um, not having had the intelligence to actually look at the uh, side label. It's canaver, commanding naval orange flavor and aroma, and tended with double dose of juniper, very smooth and palate with a subtle hint of spice. It's an award-winning gin, as it should be. Because oh, I did try this baby in the 60-second uh, variety. So, Sound of Happiness says, yep, good. The write-up says we're talking at a <coughs> classy gin. Made by the only father-daughter pair that I'm aware of. Sorry. Back on Flinders. Holly started out with her dad. Sorry, Holly. So, yeah. The Smell of Happiness says that it's an orange squeeze, but um, it's fresh Australian navel oranges. Look, it's not as um, aromatic as some gins, okay? And I'm sitting in a room that's about 20 degrees. I'm cradling this baby. It's been sitting at room temperature, wherever that's been, for about the last what, three or four months. So the nose of happiness is this is not the most upfront um, orange gin that you'll encounter in any given week. The taste of happiness, yeah, this is you. Um, you know, they've hit the um, orange nearly perfectly for mine. Because now that I've got it running around my mouth and it's neat and it's what, 43%, so it's you know, a bit happiness inducing. This is really quite pleasantly um, orangey. It's not really intense. Um, I wouldn't go using this gin to go making, say, Kularakia, the, the Greek um, sweet out of. Uh, I'd use something like Salerno, which is what I did the last time I made Kularakia with my eldest, who was going to a uh, primary school that taught Greek. Um, this is a gin that I would, I'm tempted to say I drink this baby neat. Um, I can't think off the top of my head of a tonic water that wouldn't destroy the orange in this. Um, you know, certainly fever tree, Mediterranean, nah, that's, that's citrus, but it's not an, an orange. Um, gin fizz, San Pellegrino, um, Arancina, um, the orange this would just absolutely perfect get a big bottle just, you know one that's three times this size um and you are going to have an amazingly good drinking summer amazingly clean drinking summer these guys um like i say this is the third so it's hard to find fault with them they they win awards um in an extremely competitive environment and that's something that you guys who aren't um, having the fortune to be Aussies have to understand there are 700 plus distilleries in Australia at the moment and in order to get market share um, you have to be very good at what you do and I'm aware of at least three distilleries have gone belly out in the last um, six months there's Defiance appears to have gone belly out they moved down from Cowra in New South Wales to Melbourne Melbourne didn't exactly work for them they started trying Gippsland Gippsland didn't work back them they said they were going back to New South Wales and then suddenly all oh, the social media goes quiet. Um, there was a distillery in Brisbane, I think it might be, uh, went sideways, and Swan River distillery announced last week that it was going into receivership, which is basically code for we've lost folks. Um, and these guys are winning awards in an environment that is that competitive. Never mind, mm -hmm. there's only 25 million people in Australia, and not all of us can drink gin, because at least about half of us are under the age of 18 and thus miss out on all the fun. So this is the orange squeeze gin from Hill Martin. Um, drink it neat, drink it on the rocks, just
drink this damn gin, people. It's made by fascinating people, Harlan Daughter. It's Melbourne made. You've got to drink local because that way you can go and tell the um, world about all these fantastic gins that we're drinking that they can't go and touch. So thank you very much. Hit that subscribe and follow button. And I think that next week, well, hell's bells, people. It's about time I got to um, drinking, talking about this. It's from Port Phillip Distillery. My friend Chris is going to be looking at it and going, dude, when are you going to review the hell's bells? Because it's coming up to Christmas and we need the hell's bells because this summer is going to be just drinking, gin drinking summer. Can you imagine it? Stinging hot days, blast furnace, wind out of the north. How are you going to get rid of your pain and misery? Ta-da! This baby. Catch ya. Only the best for the best.